software test design techniques in this uh, webinar i am going to explain uh, these topics first introduction to software test design techniques introduction introduction to software test design techniques next see we have two types of test design techniques static and dynamic see static and dynamic static and dynamic test design techniques techniques next our area say as in as an independent tester we conduct testing using black box test design techniques developers conduct testing using white box test design techniques as an independent tester our area is black box test design see our focus on black box black box techniques say in this category uh, we have five important test design techniques five important one is equivalence partitioning or equivalent classes equivalent equivalence partitioning equivalent partitioning or equivalent classes ec or ep next extension of equivalence partitioning boundary value analysis boundary value analysis bva extension of equivalent classes next decision table testing decision table testing next state transition testing state transition testing next use case testing just a minute use case testing see uh, these are the topics that we are going to discuss today first introduction to software test design techniques uh, first what is technique have any idea sri lakshmi what is technique general term uh, it's a logic sir logic is different technique is different what is technique nanda kishore have any idea what is technique sir it is something uh, uh, systematic approach to achieve something okay and how uh, an optimized way or efficient way of doing or achieving something see oh, yes an efficient an efficient way an efficient way of doing something doing or achieving
achieving just a minute something see an efficient way of doing or achieving something that is called technique next what is tested design technique see what is test design test design technique see a test design technique is used to select a good set of tests from the all possible tests for a given system say we cannot execute all possible tests due to time considerations and budget considerations then we need to select a good set of tests for that we use test design techniques see a test design technique a test design technique is used to select is used to select a good set of a good set of tests or you can say test cases from the all possible all possible tests for a given system krishna chaitanya did you join yes sir okay cool see what is technique what is test design technique first of all okay we already discussed it. uh it is used to select a good set of tests from all possible tests why we need to use test design techniques sri lakshmi why we need to use test design techniques why we need to use test design techniques to uh organize the testing to process organizing no krishna chaitanya can you tell me why we need to use test design techniques to follow particular procedure follow particular procedure you can execute all possible tests na mm-hmm. nanda kishor why we need to use test design techniques you can create all possible tests and execute but why test design techniques no see uh, observe the terminology exhaustive testing is not possible so we need to use test design techniques in order to reduce the size of the input say if you want to test if you want to uh, exhaustive testing means exhaustive testing is a test approach in which uh, all combination of inputs and all preconditions can be executed exhaustive testing is impractical suppose one object is uh, one field is there user name as per requirements it has to accept 10 to 20 characters long 10 to 20 alpha numeric if you want to test that field with uh, test that functionality with all possible inputs and preconditions lacks of inputs so many combinations see in order to reduce the input domain we use techniques observe observe krishna chaitanya why we use test design techniques exhaustive testing is not possible so we need to use test design techniques in order to reduce the size of the input what is exhaustive testing 
exhaustive testing is a test approach in which the test suit compresses all combination of input input values and preconditions exhaustive testing impractical na yes sir why we cannot test all possible say test testing cases. with all possible inputs and preconditions time taking process time considerations budget considerations so we cannot uh, conduct exhaustive testing exhaustive testing is not recommendable due to time and budget considerations so in order to reduce the size of the input we use test design techniques we have to reduce the input at the same time we need to cover all areas covering all areas and reducing the input for that purpose we use test design techniques getting the point sri lakshmi why we need to use test design techniques yes sir why tell me to uh, uh. to avoid the exhaustive testing ah uh, yes uh, exhaustive testing is not possible we need to use test design techniques in order to reduce the input we have to reduce the input size at the same time we need to cover all areas okay see exhaustive testing exhaustive testing is not possible not possible so we need to use test design techniques test design techniques in order to reduce in order to reduce the size of the size of size of the input observe krishna chaitanya we need to reduce the input at the same time we need to cover all areas na yes sir otherwise incomplete testing see in order to re uh, reduce here Uh, two important uh, points reducing the input simultaneously covering all areas for that we use test design techniques if you reduce the input randomly you cannot cover the functionality completely you cannot cover the functionality thoroughly so uh, we use test design techniques exhaustive testing what is exhaustive testing say exhaustive testing exhaustive testing is a test approach test approach in which the test suit series of tests the test suit compresses all combinations all combinations of input values and preconditions conditions say exhaustive testing is not recommendable impractical is not recommendable due to time time and budget considerations okay say what is technique what is test design technique why we need to use test design techniques now all of you familiar with importance of test design techniques 
and one more thing nanda kishore these tester design techniques usually for manual testing if it is test automation we no need to use tester design techniques why see tool test tool tool is software it can execute all possible inputs you can write logic suppose data range or data type or data size if you write the logic tool is software software can execute all possible inputs quickly getting this point nanda kishore sri lakshmi yes sir did you understand this point these test yes, design techniques usually for manual test manual. if it is test automation we no need to use test design techniques why because we are using tool so yes, no, we can we, are, we can use programming logic okay yeah, tool is software fine. software can execute all possible inputs quickly if it is manual testing manual user human user has human user need to execute all possible inputs time time taking process and budget considerations and organizing the inputs also difficult so for manual testing we use test design techniques for test automation test design techniques not uh, required first of all getting this point krishna chaitanya yes sir okay say uh, there are two main categories of test design techniques there are two main categories two main categories of test design techniques nanda kishore are you following you are not responding hello sir i am following sir okay, cool, cool. see they are uh, one is static static techniques static techniques next dynamic dynamic techniques static techniques dynamic techniques see this is about first topic in this chapter first topic introduction to software test design techniques in this topic what is test design tech we discussed what is test design technique uh, what is technique general term then what is test design technique next why test design techniques next uh, types of test design techniques next come to second topic static and dynamic techniques static and dynamic test design techniques test design techniques say i will provide brief introduction about static techniques uh, in dynamic techniques also our main focus on black box test design techniques as an independent tester our main focus on black box test design techniques so we cover black box test design techniques remaining brief just a brief introduction say first static static techniques static techniques see testing of the software documents manually or with the set of tools but without executing the software that is static testing observe krishna chaitanya suppose one road bridge is there checking the bridge 
that is dynamic testing checking the bridge plan bridge plan document that is static testing getting this point yes sir any confusion ask me no static testing means without executing the software checking the or testing the documents software documents see testing of the software documents manually or with a set of tools but without executing the software see i provided general example also suppose one road bridge is there checking that bridge bridge that is dynamic testing checking the bridge plan bridge plan document that is static testing observe testing the software documents testing the by testing the software documents also we can reduce the defect defect uh, mul multiplication by checking the software documents we can reduce the defect multiplication testing of the software documents or you can say software uh, real time term software work products testing the software documents or software work products manually or uh using uh, with a set of tools some tools available compilers etc set of tools but without without executing the software without executing the software okay say here two types of static techniques we have two types two types of just a minute two types of static techniques uh one is reviews reviews another is static analysis static analysis or you can say automated automated analysis automated analysis reviews another name manual examination manual examination see reviews uh, we have four uh, we have four types of review see reviews just a brief introduction our main focus a uh, dynamic testing in that black box test techniques only reviews four types of reviews types of reviews informal review informal review next walk through see author conducts walk through author of the document next technical review next more formal review is inspection these are types of reviews next static analysis 
see usually developers developers conduct static analysis static analysis tools are typically used by developers example compilers compilers offer some support for static analysis see static analysis analysis tools are typically used by developers developers for example compilers compilers observe silakshmi compiling the program is different from executing the program isn't it yes sir compilation <laughs> what is the use of compilation uh, sri lakshmi what is the, what is compilation whether the program is executable mm. krishna chaitanya what is compilation it converts the source code into ah, converts binary it converts high level language into binary level language it converts high level language into binary language okay uh, com using compilers developers conduct static analysis without executing the software our uh, independent uh, our says our area is independent testers generally we uh, conduct uh, reviews only static analysis developers activity okay just a brief idea next come to dynamic techniques dynamic techniques see we have three types of dynamic techniques first of all uh, what is dynamic test design technique the software is tested by executing it on computer see the software is tested by executing it on computer observe nanda kishore did you find the difference between static and dynamic techniques what is the difference nanda kishore hello hello you tell me krishna chaitanya static testing is just the verifying documents verifying kind of documents yes. without executing the software next dynamic yes. testing it will execute the software ah, ah, by okay. uh, testing by executing the software okay next we have three categories of dynamic techniques see categories categories of dynamic techniques any idea sri lakshmi categories of dynamic techniques no sir no idea using different using different inputs what i am asking categories of dynamic techniques or types of dynamic techniques krishna chaitanya okay see first one specification based specification 
based or black box black box techniques specification based or black box techniques black box see meaningful term inside the box not visible we test external functionality only we don't test internal structure or internal code we just we just test external functionality inside the box not visible only external functionality block box next structure based structure based or white box structure based or white box techniques see usually developers conduct testing using white box techniques independent testers conduct testing using black box test techniques next another is next uh, say either black box or white box these two are formal techniques next third one informal informal experience based techniques experience based techniques see these are the three important categories of dynamic techniques next in uh, black box test design techniques we already uh, i already indexed it uh, five important techniques what are the five important techniques nanda kishore nanda kishore not responding sri lakshmi equivalent equivalence partitioning or equivalent classes boundary value analysis next boundary value analysis boundary value analysis next decision decision table testing next state transition testing state transition testing next use case testing use case testing see these are the five important uh, block box techniques some other techniques also there but these are the important techniques next structured based or white box techniques are here three important techniques statement testing statement statement testing and coverage statement testing and coverage next decision decision testing and coverage next condition testing multi condition testing etc condition testing condition testing multi condition testing multi 
multi condition testing etc next krishna chaitanya can you give one or two examples for experience based techniques informal test design techniques suppose if you don't have proper documentation or time then you can go for informal techniques experience based techniques I don't have an idea, sir. Any idea? Okay, cool. Error guessing. Error guessing. Just a minute. Error guessing. Next. Exploratory testing. Exploratory testing. just a minute error guessing exploratory testing see the second topic in this chapter static and dynamic test design techniques static techniques testing the software documents example requirements documents test plan document test case documents etc testing the software documents manually or with a set of tools but without executing the software see two types of static techniques reviews and static analysis next dynamic techniques soft testing the software by executing it on computer here we have three categories of dynamic techniques block box techniques white box techniques next experience based techniques some are saying gray box techniques gray box is not separate type combination of black box and white box is called gray box okay see as an independent tester our core area is block box testing techniques see next topic block box i will provide examples for all important block box test design techniques see black box see, techniques. Ah. what kind of tools are used in static testing compiler is tool compilers interpreters debuggers etc without executing the software only compiling by compiling also they can find some errors okay during okay. compilation also you can find some errors na yes sir if you rectify the errors definitely you can reduce the defect multiplication na yeah see best example for static ana analysis tool compiler see come to black box techniques first one equivalence partitioning equivalence partitioning another name is equivalent classes equivalent classes equivalent partitioning or equivalent classes say it can be applied at any level of testing unit testing integration testing system and acceptance testing okay our area is system testing developers conduct unit and integration testing next end user means customers conduct acceptance testing forget about unit testing and integration testing and acceptance testing our area is system testing okay uh, equivalence partitioning can be applied at any level of testing next in equivalence partitioning 
inputs to the software are divided into groups that are expected to exhibit similar behavior in equivalence partitioning inputs to the software are divided into groups that are expected to exhibit similar behavior next equivalence partitions or classes can be found for both valid data and invalid data see we divide the input domain into classes or partitions then we take one or two inputs from each class by executing these small number of inputs we can uh, quickly conduct the testing reducing the input at the same time covering all areas say observe the points it can be applied it can be applied at any level any level of testing observe sri lakshmi we have four levels of testing now what are the four levels of testing say unit testing next integration integration testing next system testing and acceptance testing uh, in which what is our area sri lakshmi unit testing or integration testing or system testing or acceptance testing what is our area system, system, system testing, testing see as an independent tester your area is system testing usually developers conduct unit and integration testing next end users conduct acceptance testing okay see uh, four levels of testing testing okay but testers testers vary testers vary from one level to another okay in equivalent partitioning next point in equivalence partitioning inputs inputs to the software inputs to the software are divided are divided into groups that are expected to exhibit similar behavior that are expected to exhibit similar behavior next point equivalence partition partitions equivalence partitions or you can say equivalence classes can be found for both valid data and invalid data can be found for both valid data and invalid data see this is the brief introduction about equivalence partitioning i will provide examples before examples one general topic data we use data uh, for testing input data test data data factors 
say we have three important data factors first one type type of the data can you give example for type data type uh, krishna chaitanya data type integer flow ah, integer character. integer character float double okay those are technical classification in general terms alphabets next say integer double character string these are technical terms in general terms alphabets next alpha numeric uh, only numeric also alphabets numeric next combination alpha numeric next alpha numeric and special characters star etc symbols special special characters etc see type of data for example phone number object phone number object accepts phone number field accepts 10 digit numeric values numeric is type 10 digit is size of the data next city name city name field accepts alphabets that is type of the data next user id user id field accepts alpha numeric values 10 to 20 characters long alpha numeric values means alpha numeric is type of the data next rahman did you join yes sir i'm okay. sorry i have okay. a time issue <laughs> cool cool no issue cool next size of the data size Suppose phone number object or phone number field accepts 10 digit numeric values. 10 digit is size, numeric is type. Suppose 10 digits. Phone number. next one more thing krishna chaitanya can you tell me type of the data size of the data range of the data range of the data range of the data suppose in insurance applications uh, suppose for one lakh policy premium amount suppose applicant age 25 to 30 years premium 5000 example 30 to 35 years 6000 35 years to 40 years 7000 what is this 25 years years to 30 years this is range of the data suppose in banking applications uh, one to two years interest rate for fixed deposits seven percent two to three years eight percent three to four years nine percent five to seven years eleven uh, percent that is range of the data suppose one to two years five 
फाइव टू सेवन इयर्स इज रेंज ऑफ द डेटा ओके ना रहमान डाटा फैक्टर्स वी हैव थ्री डाटा फैक्टर्स टाइप ऑफ द डेटा साइज ऑफ द डेटा रेंज ऑफ द डेटा ओके ना यस यस सर ओके ऑब्जर्व द एग्जांपल 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 वन हियर वी कंसंट्रेट ऑन वी फोकस ऑन डेटा रेंज डेटा रेंज okay example is tickets filled in a reservation system accepts 1 to 10 tickets only minimum 1 ticket maximum 10 tickets you can enter 5 tickets 7 tickets 8 tickets but 11 tickets invalid 0 invalid 20 tickets invalid see tickets tickets filled in a reservation system a reservation system accepts 1 to 10 tickets only 1 to 10 tickets only ah uh, here partitions See, partition one. Next, partition two. Next, partition three. See, testing with all possible inputs and preconditions impractical, so that we use test design techniques. in order to reduce the input reducing the input at the same time covering all areas coverage important but we have to reduce the input why otherwise if you want to execute all possible inputs and preconditions time taking process see due to time and budget considerations uh, generally we don't go for exhaustive testing exhaustive testing means testing with all possible inputs and preconditions we reduce the input using test design techniques uh, rahman uh, make that uh, range into partitions first partitions suppose zero second partition 1 to 10 uh, third partition krishna chaitanya greater than 10 okay suppose 11 to 99 or above see first partition we have to take one or two inputs from every partition then we can cover all areas you no need to take all inputs a uh, first partition sri lakshmi is it valid or invalid invalid sir invalid second partition it's a valid sir. valid this is valid partition third partition invalid invalid only see this is one example here we focused on data range next example 2 example 2 ah uh, this time data size focus on data size sometimes we need to focus on Uh, one or more factors suppose phone number object takes phone number field accepts 10 digit numeric values that is our requirement here 10 digit is size numeric values numeric is type 
here we need to focus size and type okay in our examples i am focusing data factors one by one example two data type okay here example is customer identification number see customer identification number a field accepts only numbers customer identification field accepts only numbers uh, for this one uh, write partitions uh, rahman partition 1 partition 2 hmm. partition 1 krishna chaitanya why nobody responding accept alphabets like check alphabets whether it is accepting or not ah, see first alphabets this is one partition next numeric are numbers next partition alpha numeric alpha numeric next partition see alpha bytes numbers alpha numeric next alpha numeric and special characters nanda kishore and special characters uh, now tell me rahman partition 1 as per our requirement test requirement partition 1 is invalid. valid or not invalid invalid next partition 2 valid valid partition 3 invalid invalid see partition 3 invalid partition 4 also invalid invalid okay just a minute next example data size data range data type data size see example 3 sir i have a question ah. is example 2 is a data size or uh, it's a data type oh yes yes it's not size data type na type of the data good first one data range 1 to 10 next uh, 0 11 to 99 or above range type okay good data type range type next size size uh, size suppose phone number field accepts 10 digits only or 10 digits numbers only numeric data only but here we have to focus on 10 digit size numeric type also but you concentrate on size first size see phone number field accepts 10 digit 
numeric data only hmm. partition 1 partition 2 partition 3 suppose partition 1 ah, tell me Sri Lakshmi partition 1 suppose below 10 now our focus on size okay for this phone number field we need to um, check that number number also means type also for this phone number field data size and data type also important but in our example I am covering only data size already I told uh, some fields some fields having more data factors we need to cover more data factors size and type next type and range etc but I am explaining separately first our focus on data range next data type next data size actually this uh, for this phone number field two data factors what are the two data factors uh, Rahman one is this must be numeric and also 10 digits uh, one is uh, size another is type range not range type type na type. Yeah. numeric yes. is type of data see observe 10 digit 10 digit is size size of the data next numeric is type of the data okay okay focus on uh, data size size okay below 10 this is one partition next 10 next about 10 see first one observe uh, Krishna Chaitanya below 10 valid or invalid Invalid. 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 Next. Valid. Next. Invalid. See, uh, we covered three factors data range, data type, data size. Next, one more thing also there. Others. But nowadays, we no need to cover this one. Uh, I will show. Others, here no data. No data type or data size or data range. Example, a payment management system. A payment management system. accepts credit card payment only credit card payment only Abdur Rahman here no data size no data type no data range okay na yes sir actually we no need to take partitions suppose if any payment management system accepts credit cards only then they provide only that option you can check that option only just understanding point of view I am writing this partitions but nowadays any payment management system provides 
uh, only one or two payment options then they provide only those options suppose net banking not available that time no net banking option suppose cash on delivery option not available uh, facility not available know that option okay just understanding point of am writing see partition one partition two partition three suppose partition one credit card partition two uh, net banking partition three suppose cash on delivery see first one valid next invalid next invalid okay na sri lakshmi we covered all areas na see we discussed data range data type data size and others separately next combinations abdur rahman example user id user id field accepts 10 to 20 characters long alpha bytes are alpha numeric data user id field accepts 10 to 20 characters long alpha numeric data ah uh, here what are the data factors it's data factors 10 to 20 characters yes. it, ha- it it accepts it 10 to factors. 20 characters suppose you can create user id with 10 characters or 15 characters or 17 18 19 20 21 not acceptable 9 invalid 21 invalid 9 invalid here first one is data size a range yeah. range 10 to 20 10 to 20 that is range next observe just a minute 10 to 20 10 to 20 next data types alpha bytes uh, alpha numeric alpha numeric ha huh. is it data types type Uh, Abzar Abzar Rahman, 10 to 20 is data type or data size? It's data range. Not range. Size of the data only. Suppose 10 digit. Abzar, here no mathematical operations involvement. 10 digit, 14 digit. 18 suppose 10 digit valid 14 digit valid 18 valid 22 invalid 8 invalid 8 14 18 22 this is size size only range means mathematical operations involved for example 1 to 45 days interest rate 5% 46 days to 180 days interest rate some 6% getting that point 
yes sir that is range, range. okay next observe another example already we used phone number phone number field accepts 10 digit numeric values only now observe Sri Lakshmi here what are the data factors 10 digit what is this one only numeric sir I am asking 10 digit 10, di 10 digit is size or range or type it's a, a size size next numeric Type. Data type. Type. Just a minute. Somebody to make nice. Okay. Example one. Example two. Next. Example three. See, we covered data size, data type. Next, data size, size type. Both are size type only. Can I give an example for uh, range, data range and other combination? Rahman? data range okay observe customer customer age field accepts age value from twenty one to sixty five years numeric data. Uh, observe uh, customer age this 25 to 65 years what is this one uh, Rahman this one range range for example 20 20 also two digit data 20 invalid 19 invalid 66 invalid this is data range because it's out of range. Out of range. Data range. Next, numeric. See age 20, 30, 40, 50. This is numeric data. Data type. Data type. Okay, now we covered all possibilities now. Any queries, Krishna Chaitanya? Combinations. No, sir. Uh, come to second one. Boundary. Boundary value analysis. BVA. Uh, actually, this boundary value analysis is extension of equivalence partitions or equivalence classes. It is extension of 
equivalent partitions without equivalence partitions we cannot use boundary value analysis getting this point sri lakshmi yes sir it is extension it is extension of equivalence partitions without equivalence partitions we can't use boundary value analysis observe the points see the maximum and minimum values of a partition are its boundary values see the maximum the maximum and minimum minimum values of a partition are its boundary values boundary values next behavior at edge of each equivalence partition is more likely to be incorrect than behavior within the partition observe behavior behavior of behavior at edge behavior at edge of each equivalence partition is more likely to be incorrect to be incorrect than behavior behavior within the partition next boundary value analysis can be applied at all test levels see boundary value analysis can be applied at all test levels what are the all test levels rahman unit integration unit um, integration. integration next system, system. system sir. and uh, acceptance testing what is our area as an independent tester system testing system testing okay next come to example example okay you take first example of part equivalence partition this one Uh, for that you write uh, minimum maximum value sri lakshmi uh, sri lakshmi for every partition minimum maximum see in partition 1 we are used only zero na yes, suppose yes, minimum maximum yes, minimum maximum zero only so one input is enough for first partition uh, for second partition what is the minimum minimum one maximum minimum Z, uh, one 10. just a minute minimum minimum is one maximum 10 maximum 10 
see you need to take these two inputs minimum 1 maximum 10 for third partition uh, minimum 11 minimum maximum 11 19. next maximum 19. suppose 99 are above any one you can take see these inputs are enough uh, to cover all areas next you take that uh, data size one phone number object is there now this one Krishna Chaitanya right boundary value analysis for this one suppose partition one here fixed na minimum zero any one minimum what is the edge nine na yes sir next minimum maximum minimum and maximum in in partition 2 10 only next here maximum okay minimum 11 in third partition you know need to cover 12 13 14 etc see three inputs enough three inputs enough uh, suppose observe one example user id abdur rahman user id field accepts 10 to 20 10 to 20 uh, characters long 10 to 20 characters okay forget about alpha numeric or some other you focus on range user user id field accepts 10 to 20 characters for that first uh, divide uh, divide the partitions rahman first partitions partition is Already I told, already I told, boundary value analysis is extension of equivalence partitions. Suppose partition 1, partition 2, next partition 3. Ah, uh, partition 1. Yes, sir. It's below 10. Below 10, good. Below 10. 10 characters yeah. next 10 to 20 10 to 20 next above 20 11 to suppose 99 are above now uh, bva boundary value analysis first EP equivalent partitions are you can say EC equivalent classes equivalent partitions are equivalent classes BVA uh, continue Rahman BVA uh, for, first, for first partition minimum minimum nine, nine. minimum nine the minimum maximum not nine minimum one na. Maximum twenty mm. for first partition oh, minimum maximum. one. Pardon? Uh, below ten means below ten means what is the maximum value? Ten. Mm. Below ten means ninety nine or above. Don't confuse here at least one character is minimum zero not considerable below 10 
at least one means below 10 means nine na nine characters na yes sir here minimum in this first partition minimum is one character maximum is nine in second partition uh, minimum 10 10 uh, maximum 20 maximum 20 edge next in third partition minimum 21 21. Maximum okay, 99 or above. Observe first partition invalid, second partition valid, third partition invalid. So definitely this one fail. Fail 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 this one pass pass without using all possible inputs uh, we can cover all areas using equivalent classes and a boundary value analysis observe Sri Lakshmi any confusion sir example to ah. How could the minimum value become 9? Below 10 means, suppose phone number 10 digit. Here minimum, maximum 10 digit only fixed, no range. Below 10 means, how many characters? It, 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 uh, 9 digit value, no? Okay. Minimum, uh, say valid is 10 digit. Next, below 10 means, 9 is below 10, 8 is below 10, 1 is below 10. Okay, here you can, you can, I am taking this edge, but you can take 1 also. 1 is minimum. Okay, okay, good. 1 is minimum. Maximum? 9. 9. Okay, okay. Maximum 9. This is uh, first partition. Minimum 1. Try with one one digit value. That is uh, fail. Uh, that should be fail. Why ten ten digit is the uh, accepted data? Uh, that uh, size is ten digit as per requirement. In this range, minimum one zero zero means nothing. So minimum one maximum 9 next second partition only 10 na yes sir here minimum maximum 10 next here minimum 11 okay maximum suppose 99 or above if it accepts okay Actually, this one, uh, these three enough. Observe, select me, selected three. We covered below range, after, uh, above range, and uh, uh, regular range, na? Yes, sir. Okay. Any queries, Krishna Chaitanya? Yes, See, next third one, decision table testing, decision table testing. See, sometimes equivalent classes are partitions and boundary value analysis are not sufficient. When, I will explain. See, the decision tables are good way to capture system requirements that contain logical conditions. Logic, if any logical condition is involved, then we need to take decision table. I will show the example. See, 
the decision tables the decision tables are good way to capture system requirements that contain logical conditions logical conditions next it may be applied for all situations when the action of the software depends on logical decisions see <coughs> it may be applied it may be applied for all situations when the action when the action action of the software depends on depends on logical decisions logical decisions so i will provide example then you can get more clarity observe observe uh, krishna chaitanya example bsrb banking service recruitment board so government for example private also uh, private recruitments also there suppose if it is government some formalities <coughs> bsrb system system means application under test uh, <coughs> bsrb system uh, clerk or some job bsrb system uh job eligibility job eligibility criteria observe here uh, requirement is abdur rahman requirement is candidate candidate age Uh, where the uh, other other eligibility is also their qualification etc now we are focusing on age candidate age age should be age should be in between 21 and 35 getting the test requirement rahman yes sir if it is like this then you can easily uh, prepare the input here uh, age is what what type of data numeric na so numeric data numeric type next 25 to 35 years uh, 21 to 35 years so range range of the data okay if requirement is like this then you can easily uh, make the partitions uh, based on the data range and data type and uh, uh, you can find the boundaries and prepare the input small size of input okay but some conditions for this test requirement some conditions 
conditions see this is government example government application some conditions first condition for sc or st scheduled cash or scheduled tribes candidates <coughs> five years uh, age relaxation five years age relaxation this is one condition next just a minute for bc backward cash candidates 3 years next for phc physically challenged candidates 5 years see these are the conditions then partitions and boundary values not suitable na rahman Yes, sir. Here, decision tables required. Suppose category. I am preparing one small table. Category. Age. Next. Valid or invalid criteria. Suppose first one. Candidate OC age twenty. Abdur Rahman pass or fail or valid or invalid? Let's look invalid. Invalid. Next SC age twenty. Invalid only. Relaxation means after thirty five years. Next, suppose OC twenty five valid or invalid? Valid, valid. Just a minute. SC twenty five valid, valid, valid means pass. Invalid means fail. fail. It has to fail. Next, suppose uh, PHC. Twenty five valid. Valid. Next OC thirty six. OC thirty six. I don't see any OC condition. Observe twenty one to thirty five years. Oh, okay. Remaining three. Then. That is general requirement. These are valid. the conditions. 36 valid or invalid 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 observe bc same 36 valid or invalid valid valid see observe here input same 36 36 if it is oc invalid if it is bc valid why logical conditions involved in this requirement for example, BC again, 39. Ah. I need to see F. Three, see three years relaxation for BCs. So fail, invalid. Invalid. Actually, it is not my own. It is uh, in uh, government BSRB applications in Andhra Pradesh and uh, in India, uh, other states also. Next, BC 39 invalid. Suppose ST, observe Sri Lakshmi, ST 39. Krishna Chaitanya. Valid. Valid. Parmita Rai, did you join? Okay, Parmita.
39 nine observe uh, observe krishna chaitanya 39 bc invalid but st invalid 36 bc valid but 36 oc invalid here we can't restrict this requirement uh, using uh, uh, we can't provide input we can't provide input for this requirement using equivalent classes and uh, boundary value analysis only decisions required getting this point uh, rahman yes sir i'm getting the same input yes. first 36 fail second 36 pass first 39 fail second 39 pass but based on that condition okay just i will show one more example one more example suppose uh, banking system banking system interest banking system interest rates for fixed deposits deposits uh, observe the ranges one to two years suppose seven percent next two to three years eight percent next three to five years suppose ten percent see these are the rates for fixed deposits uh, here one condition nowadays indian banks providing that uh, facility for senior citizens for senior citizens uh, 0.5% 0.5% extra interest rate for all ranges all periods Observe here one logical condition involved. In the first example, three conditions. In second example, one condition. Here, see, decision table. Age, period, next, interest rate, interest rate. Suppose age 25 years, period 1 year, interest rate 7%. If it is 7%, pass. Next, age 66 years, period same 1 year. Observe Rahman. What is the expected value? Expected value differ now? Sir, I don't know the senior citizen age. 66? Oh, 65 years. Oh, okay. Or then 60 7. years. 7.5%? Uh, suppose 60 years, 5%. Uh, 0.5% 7. extra means 7.5%. 7. 7.5%. 7. Suppose 50 years age four years period 10 percent interest rate suppose 70 years same four year same four years interest rate 10.5 percent see it depends on this condition expectations vary for that we need to use decision tables okay na krishna chaitanya decision tables Yes, sir. Straight. Uh, you are saying dull, dull mood. 
state transition testing ask me if any if you have any queries state transition testing observe in state transition testing test cases are designed to execute valid and invalid state transitions a system system means application under test a system may exhibit a different response on current conditions or previous history observe in state transition testing test cases test cases are designed to execute designed to execute valid and invalid state transitions i'll show the example then you can get more clarity a system here system means aut application under test a system may exhibit a system may exhibit a different a different behave uh, response a different response on current conditions current conditions or previous history previous history uh, example example internet banking system fund transfer operation internet banking internet banking system fund transfer operation or functionality fund transfer functionality okay observe initial uh, initial balance initial balance for example 45000 this is initial balance next observe transaction next transaction amount next valid or invalid or pass or fail suppose first transaction transaction amount 20000 expected success uh, 20000 successful pass next second transaction same input 20000 successful pass next third transaction same input 20000 
عبدالر الرحمن seems like fail fail unsuccessful means pass na observe here depends on the state unsuccessful means pass why suppose balance is 45000 first 20000 successful remaining balance 20, uh, 25000 first 20000 successful remaining balance 25000 next 20000 successful remaining balance 5000 next 20000 if it is successful then fail na there's a condition yeah if it is successful fail if it is unsuccessful pass see so observe same input successful pass same input unsuccessful pass means yes. depends on that condition that state that state expectations vary this is about state transition testing okay depends on states expectations vary see generally if we provide same input same operation see input same operation same expected also same but here not like that based on the state suppose balance 45 first first transaction 20000 successful second transaction also successful third transaction unsuccessful means pass for example another scenario observe sri sri lakshmi <coughs> input 5 comma 3 two inputs operation add first transaction 5 3 8 same input second time 8 third time 8 fourth time 8 Thousand times, one lakh times, ten lakh times, same, same expected, na. But here, input same, operation same, operation also fund transfer. But uh, uh, based on that state, expectations vary, isn't it? Yes, sir. See, next last one. use case testing use case testing krishna chaitanya what is use case say uh, based on the available documentation uh, we can derive test cases from requirements documents or use cases some companies uh, user action and system response okay parmita what about your mic parmita okay see uh, any idea rahman uh, use case okay okay parmita cool no issue rahman use case testing what is use case user scenario or business scenario in a dialogue between actors user scenario or business scenario in between actors user scenario or business scenario in a dialogue in between actors what are actors i will explain see in use case testing test cases are designed to execute user scenarios or business scenarios see in use case testing test cases are designed to execute user scenarios user scenarios or you can say business scenarios business scenarios a use case describes interaction between actors a use case 
a use case describes interactions between actors who are actors including users and system user is actor system is actor including users and system see in this scenario user is actor system is actor next a use case usually has a mainstream scenario and sometimes alternate scenarios see a use case usually has a mainstream as a mainstream scenario and some uh, sometimes alternate alternative scenarios see example example see business scenario business scenario or user scenario atm automated teller machine cash withdrawal cash withdrawal operation see first mainstream scenario mainstream scenario observe here i am taking one bank atm navigation see uh, this navigation depends on banks this atm cash withdrawal navigation varies from one bank to another but i am taking one bank example observe mainstream scenario first user user inserts user inserts atm card next system what is the system uh, response uh, rahman system validates na and ask for pin this is one transaction next user enters pin system validates pin and ask for ask to select language next th third one user selects language 
language system validates and ask to enter amount next user see fourth transaction user enter some amount amount system uh just a minute selects language validate as to select for example select account type selects account type a uh, current account or what are the account types sri lakshmi current account saving account ah uh, parmita saving account current account etc okay system validates and ask to enter amount next fifth transaction user enter some amount next system validates next releases money money see this is mainstream scenario observe five transactions insert atm card user validates ask for fin next enter spin validates validates spin ask to select language next user selects language validates and ask to select account type next user selects account type either saving account or current account next system validates and ask to enter amount user enter amount next validates release money this is mainstream scenario for example alternates alternatives alternatives see we have so many alternatives for example for second transaction rahman can you give me alternate for second transaction suppose 2a second transaction enter spin suppose if user uh, if user enters invalid pin suppose if the user enters invalid pin ah uh, tell me krishna chaitanya what will happen system should reject system next user just um, this is alternate flow system uh, shows error message for example shows error message error message and ask for and ask to select just a minute 
us to select uh, not select ask to enter enter correct pin say some ATM machines provide three attempts okay forget about that us to enter correct pin next user suppose user enters correct pin enters correct pin then mainstream ask for selecting language next account type next amount and releasing the amount <coughs> next alternate flow in for example in fourth transaction alternate flow Sri Lakshmi can you tell me alternate flow in fourth transaction suppose 4a suppose if if the user selects incorrect account type suppose my account type is saving if I select yeah. current account that is invalid suppose if user selects invalid account type see already I told this navigation varies from uh, one bank to another I am taking one bank example navigations may vary uh, if user selects invalid account type then system system should uh, send a message that it's uh, invalid shows error message system shows error message and ask uh, to select correct type correct account account type next user suppose selects correct account type then mainstream selects correct account type then mainstream next observe Krishna Chaitanya suppose uh, fifth scenario alternate flow enters amount okay if user enters sufficient amount or valid amount then system releases the money suppose if user enters incorrect amount suppose fifth another scenario alternate scenario if user uh, if user enters incorrect incorrect amount uh, for example uh, just a minute for example incorrect means uh, more than more than the balance more than the balance suppose my balance is 10,000 I'm entering I entered 14,000 so more than the balance this is one scenario more than the balance amount next another is more than the day limit suppose I have sufficient funds 1 lakh balance is there I'm trying to withdraw 70,000 70,000 is not is more than the day limit suppose my bank providing 30,000 or 50,000 day limit suppose I am trying to uh, withdraw 70,000 it shows incorrect amount or any other message insufficient or uh, insufficient funds is different incorrect amount uh, the day limit is it provides a, a suggestion also the day limit is 50,000 like then you can enter correct amount more than the balance amount or more than the day limit
then system it should show appropriate error message ah, appropriate error message see shows error message error message and ask to enter correct amount or valid next user user enters correct amount then it releases the money mainstream see see mainstream and alternate streams okay i'm going to close the session any queries rahman no queries sir whatever i miss i will see the video cool krishna chaitanya i'm going to close the session any queries no sir. Sri Lakshmi. Uh, no sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you sir. Okay, Parmita Rai. I will send the notes also. Okay.